As she looked up, Even began to realize that Two Town's name was easily twice as literal as she'd suspected. They seemed to be constructing a second town. <laughs> I've had enough of this job. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, a dice? Where did you come from, little one? My bum. Let him go. That's right. You better smarten up and look where you're going, or I... Well, <laughs> you're very angry for someone so small. I'm not small. You're a big clumsy giant who goes around sitting on my friends. Again, I, I apologize. It, it was an accident. <sighs> All right, apology accepted. Look, I'm trying to find my sister. I've got to get through that big old door. Name Seymour. I haven't seen your sister, though. Thing is, I don't see too much of anything these days. And not since the nanny confiscated most of my eyes. Two of them for two town, she said. <laughs> oh, not like that. A nanny Fortuna. Old lady, right hand of the queen. She is as mean as she is old. Anyway, once she gave my eyes to the mayor, they disappeared. I haven't heard any news about them since. So, it seems like we both have a reason not to like her. <laughs> uh, the Civil War and Freedom, you know, tried to desert it and got sentenced for treason. I wasn't doing any good there anyway. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> but enough about that. What's up with this Dice! I haven't seen a real one in years! I see you're missing a couple of pips, little one. If you're gonna go anywhere. You are new, aren't you? The door to three towns forever locked. It keeps the district separate by order of the queen. You'd need to roll a three to open it. And since nobody has a dice anymore, well, they stay closed. But your little friend's so close to three! I could fix you, but... But I can't. Not unless I get my missing eyes back. Oh, if only a brave dice wielder would find it in her heart of glory to begin a quest to find and return my eyes. <sighs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Listen, even if things were that easy, do you think we'd all be here? Heck no. We'd all be in Six Town, living the high life, relaxing by, uh, by whatever it is that Six Towners relax by. A pool of gold, probably. Sadly, it's not that easy, even. <laughs> Especially not since that nanny has given my eyes to that Nightmare of a mayor. So, yeah, find my eyes, and I can definitely help you. So, you'll help out old Seymour? Thank you, thank you. Be careful with that two faced mayor. Okay. If you need me, I'll be over at the town square, near the door to freedom. Oof, it's a bad place. It's one of the six towns, one for each side of the queen's black dice. We used to be united, but that was generations ago. Before the no dice war, Random has seen a lot of war. Oh, 
Oh, don't get me started, kiddo. Oh, the town's being ruined by a family of triplets. It's petty sibling rivalry on a humongous destructive scale, with no end in sight. Even decided that she felt a kinship with this sad large monster. He'd been hurt by the same people who took her sister. She had the sense she was the only one who could help him. And she had the sense Seymour could end up helping her too. Even. How goes the quest for my eyes? Of course. Happy to go over something again if it'll help. The nanny. She's the one who stole them. And now she's given them to that awful mayor. I haven't seen them since the nanny popped them out of me. But I'd wager my last eye that upside down mayor has them now. I shudder to think what he's doing with them. Mmm, <laughs> nope. Everything looks flat. I wouldn't dare operate on Dicey here without three dice dimensional vision. Huh? Huh? I'm not apologizing. <laughs> Nasty sight on him. I don't mind telling you. Last I saw, he was working on some insane project by the upside downtown construction site. Democracy? Oh, bless you. <laughs> no, the queen and her nasty dice appointed him. The queen and her dice control everything here and throughout random, you understand. Any time, even. And thank you for helping me find my eyes. I know you've got a good heart beneath your tiny, angry exterior. I am. Well, one of them at least. Uh, and you, young lady, are. Well met, even. At last, even had arrived at the mayor of Two Town, the administrator of this land, and the alleged thief of Seymour's eyes. Or at least, even had arrived at his lower extremities. What brings you to my office today, even? You're trying to blind your mister with your swollen thighs? Mine a twister for some colon guys? Grind your... Uh, why don't you take the elevator and step into my office, even? It'll be easier to talk. It's so beautiful, the upside down town. A 
shining city in the sky. Do you think I'll get to move up there one day? Yes, yes, hello. Step into my office, such as it is. Don't mind the thing sticking out of my hat. He's... How best to explain this? I had a lot on my mind about this upside downtown project. It was starting to get out of hand and then one day he was just there. I've always been here. Right. We'd better keep our voices down, even, if we are to keep this conversation away from his ears. I'm sure you noticed the changes here, even. Our personalities becoming personified now. That's what Royam is. He's growing out of my hat, and I don't know how to stop him. I don't know how to fix this town, even. And I don't know why I'm telling you this. Oh, I suppose you just have a face one can trust. In any case, what brings you to the mayor today? What's that little girl? You want to know how our first past the post democratic system works? Why, I'd be happy to explain it in tremendous detail beginning now. Okay, I think that warded him off. That thing growing out of my hat has a name. Royam. What? Oh, I never thought of that. Uh, anyway, Royam is my opposite side. He's much more um, self assured. than I am, which normally would be great, but the things he's doing, I don't know if I can support them. Because he serves the Nanny Fortuna, we both do. Whatever she wants, he's ready to do. And therefore, he deserves to be listened to. He's my opposite. But at the end of the day, that's the grand thing about Two Town, isn't it? Everyone's got their other half. It's just like breathing to us. Mostly like breathing. I'm... I'm afraid not even. Despite my title, I'm in no position to help you. But... Well, if you dared, you could try talking to Royam directly. I shouldn't even be mentioning his name. But, well, you need my help, and this is all I can do. I suspect he knows more than he lets on. I'm lowering an elevator for you, even. It's your choice. And good luck. There you are again, even.
The upside down town is twice as nice as I thought it would be. I'm in charge. You know I'm the boss because I'm so... Uh... Big? That doesn't rhyme with charge. You're clearly new at this. You're very rude to point out my struggle. As mayor, I've got lots of priorities to... Uh... Uh... Stop interrupting me. I almost had it. Ah! Him, the mayor, don't make me laugh. He's less than the smallest member of my... Yes, I was about to say that. You have met but an idiotic fool. I'm surprised he's not covered in his own... <laughs> Look, you've broken my flow and made me stop rhyming. I'm busy with the construction of my masterpiece, my legacy, my gift to random of that wondrous second moon, and you're interrupting me? What do you want? Why should I deal with you? I am the designer, builder, overseer of the new two town. The better one. Much better than the one that idiot mayor uh, oversees. You want your friend's eyes back, don't you? Oh no, I don't give anything away for free. There's something you need to know. Here's how this is going to go. There, you see? My rhymes are getting better. I'm struggling with my poem about the moon, and I'd like to have it done real, real quickly. You know what? That gives me a thought. I'll give you the eyes, but you'll have to do... Ha! Ah, you wish, but that's not the prize at which I'll sell. I'll let them go if you teach me how to rhyme. Competently. Here's my offer, take it or leave. Bring me a perfect poem about the moon and I'll grant you Seymour's eyes. Ah, oh, you are good. Yes, that's the deal we have struck. Go find rhymes and I wish you... I'll think of it eventually. Get to it before I change my mind. It's only temporarily that our interests are... parallel to each other. My origins are as amazing as they are obscure. All you need to know is that I am a successful... Stop interrupting my poetry! Farewell, young stranger, and let me give you some advice well earned. Stay out of my way and you won't get... cooked. I was about to say that. It was a mad quest for an insane, upside-down mayor. But it was all even had to go on. There were some particular propaganda posters hanging on the walls. 
Perhaps those could be of inspiration. Construction is on schedule. Of course it is. I'm the best there is in this construction line of employment. They said it wasn't possible. They said it was a lie. Meet Miss Mystique from Papo's Wild Circus, the woman with three personalities. Hmm. Miss? I could use that word. A good night's sleep is every evening's prize. Sleep twice as well when you wear sleeping eyes. Sleeping eyes? Yeah, I like the sound of that. My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally pulling their body mass, metaphorically. Good, good. All is going according to plan. I truly am Two Town's greatest male individual. Build, build my city in the sky. Game Come Master's on, beard, what are you shy? doing up here, kid? We need a new city that's way up at a significant height. What are you doing here? This is an active construction site. We have work to do here, kid. It doesn't matter what your name is. You can't be here, kid. Look. We're all under a tight schedule here. I can't stop work just to escort you home. So, if, 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 if you promise not to die or otherwise interfere with our work here, I, I'll answer some questions for you, okay? But by the card makers, we can't have kids wandering around an active work site. Come on, get going, before my other side pitches in on what to do about you. Hey again, even. You, you've been keeping safe, yeah? All our raw materials come from one Croft Junkers. As bad as it is to be forced to hang upside down and work high above the ground, at least we don't have it as bad as those one towners, right? Yeah. 
You're the first kid I've seen here on uh, what again I feel I must stress is an active construction site. You'd better be, kid. Can't rightly say that I have. You missing some. I'll keep a lookout, kid. Uh, sorry about your friend. Do you know who took him? I, I mean, I, it doesn't really sound like something he'd do. Uh, what's the polite way to put this? Stealing someone's eyes would take a lot of initiative, and that just doesn't sound like the mayor, uh, you know? Well, that's our mayor. Well, part of him, anyway. Royum's been the driving force behind this, you know, implementing the Queen's orders. I don't trust the man, but orders are orders, and uh, everyone who's questioned Royum has, uh, well, let's just say we're all afraid of heights. Be safe out there, even. I mean it. You're on a construction site. Come on, get going, before my other side pitches in on what to do about you. But no game lasts forever, and there came a day when some of Random's grandest champions found themselves hungering weirdly, but challenges more deadly than had ever been encountered before, and with rewards commensurate with their risk, and their demands were soon met by new and darker games, whose stakes were as dangerous as could be imagined. Dex here, card enthusiast at Living Store at your service.
disgrace! I was pinned down by those those vile machines, but now they're scrap. <laughs> so thank you. The name's Big Red. Even, huh? Well, you're big even to me now. Big's an honorific, you know. Big Red and Big Even. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, kid. What brings you up here to this... this horrible place, Big Even? Afraid I can't help with either of those, but I got a life here. A precious little life, but it's mine. And now that I can move freely again, I think I'm gonna head back down to Two Town. See, I have this brother, named a Little Joe. That's him. Looks just like me, only he's a jerk. Well, he was going to work up here, but I got sent here instead. He made some sort of deal. Little Joe tricked me. His own twin sister! So now he's down there, and I'm stuck up here, and I hate every minute of it. Oh, I was, for sure. And I was of two minds about it for a long time. But now I'm just tired. I know what he did was wrong. And I know he knows it, too. He probably feels really guilty about it. But I don't want revenge. I just want to leave. I just want to go home. And now I can! Thank you! You've really made a difference in my life, Big Even. Oh, please, take this. It's my way of saying thanks. I'm finally free! Listen to Crooner Harry Harry's new double-length record. Inspired by the new moon of Two Town, it's twice as good as his last album. Croon, that, that's a nice poetic word.
A feast for the senses, a balm for the body, a spiritual bouquet? You simply have to try Crazy Cryptid's Chopped Cheese Bloob, now half price every second Tuesday. Huh, spiritual bouquet. It's a nice turn of phrase. There, even had all the materials she needed to face Royam in a battle of rhymes. But did she have the skill? Well, there was only one way to find out. Boys, just I guess going for who can't do it. She wasn't sure if she was ready, but on the other hand, she wasn't at all certain she'd ever be. So she did the only thing she could. She went for it. This is it, even. It all comes down to this. If you come at me with a moon poem, you'd better not. from painted butterflies to fan the moonbeams from two towns. Yes, oh, I like that very much. Let's proceed. And we shall be made minions of the moon to look forward to everything the mayor doth. Yes! There's no rule that says a poem can't talk up the poet song. Well done! Now, last verse. And we shall always swear by the two moons, for they change each day. The upside down town is the only place that offers such a... Such perfect rhymes for a perfect moon. I think... I think I have it, yes. Well done, little poet. You have earned yourself quite a boon.
Oh, I am constantly growing, building my body to become a real being. Poetry, on the other hand, this is what will truly separate me from my shallow other side. Oh, but of course, I promise you I will dig into that matter. Meanwhile, I want to give you something else. The highest honor in this land. I grant you access to the second moon's staging grounds. Few have ever had the good fortune to tread on that hallowed ground. Go there, admire it, and then I will give you what you seek. My workers are building at a terrific rate. If you ask me, I think that's great. It's nice to see them finally pulling their... body mass, metaphorically. Good, good. All is going according to plan. I truly am Two Town's greatest... male individual. <laughs> 